I've had this idea for a long time and the day has finally come. My mission for this video is to spend an entire day, eight hours in the Goodwill outlet and to see how many cool vintage clothing items I can find, I can sell, and how much money I can make by spending a full day in the Goodwill bins. Oh, you fat man. I, 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 I got, I got the internet going nuts. So what is good guys? I've had this idea in my head for so long as I mentioned, just to do a full day long haul in the Goodwill outlet. So I'm gonna spend 8 a.m. all the way to 4 p.m. in the Goodwill bins and that'll be a solid eight hour shift if you will, in the Goodwill outlet where they sell clothing items by the pound. So it's $2.49 per pound of clothing. They roll out new clothing in rotations and you pretty much squabble, bump elbows, and dive in bins of clothes to find some cool things. So the mission today is to grab as many cool items as I can and to sell them on Whatnot, who actually is sponsoring today's video, and to see what my profit at the end of the day will be. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Whatnot, it is an app where you can buy and sell pretty much everything under the sun. And of course, my specialty is vintage clothes. My username is Thrift God, and if you guys don't have an account, tap that link in the video description to create one and you will get $15 off your first purchase from anyone on the app. Now I go live every single Tuesday, so definitely tune in today, the day the video drops. I will be doing a live where I sell a bunch of Graylicious vintage garments, all of which start at a single dollar. Now also be sure to smash the like button on this video and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out to the trenches and see what I can pull today. It is stormy, it is rainy, and if you guys have ever been to the Goodwill bins, you know you can spend an hour there and find a ton of items. You can spend a day there and find nothing or anywhere in between. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that today will be a good day in the Goodwill outlet, but there's only one way to find out and that is to get there. So let's go GI bro, it is time. Yo, they open the store early. The f The one time I show up on time, they open it early. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Round one. Fight! Come on, man, we gotta cook. <laughs> DVD? All right, one thing, the Clemson hoodie. It's more new school, but that embroidery is crazy. So the official first rotation yielded one piece. Round two, fight. Texas cut premium bacon. Nice. All oh, the polo PJs? More polo PJs? The polo jammies. Middle of the mall Mario is nuts. A little dead stock biker vest. This thing is super new, but it's kind of cool. Look at Shorty. Clearly does not have a father figure in her life. That's a shame. Rotation two has yielded a few results. Two polo pants, Porky the pig, University of Texas, and I might get the Mario in the three. Oh, That's kind of cool. It's middle of the mall for sure. Now, since I'm in here all day, after rotations, I'm gonna go through all the bins. I just don't wanna miss a single item. And I found these Jordan Jumpman sweatpants. Pretty cool. I think I can get at least a couple bucks out of them. And then I may do some parking lot cash outs as well. But when I buy from other people, I'm not gonna throw those in this video's live. This is gonna be a strictly bins find video. Round three, fight. Rotation three, two T's, Grand Prix, leaving Spitfire, I might. So I set up one cart, then I got the other cart, and I found this dope ass blanket to put on top of it. I might fuck around and sell this blanket too, damn it. Round four, fight. All the Nike track pants, not more of Take them. Oh, the Pooji, yes. Oh, the Hello Kitty custom? What are those? Clearly authentic. 2015 rush. Why not? 
Appreciate it, bro. Oh, not the very rare Raggedy Ann. <laughs> so that's rotation four. I was excited about these Nike track pants until I looked at the inside. That is legitimately a shit stain on the inside of these pants. <laughs> Bruh, ain't no way. I'll grab the Rush and probably the Hello Kitty for the shouties. Now this isn't a grail by any means, but it's dead sock, all embroidered, new with tags. 45? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, next Roto's coming out. Fight! Oh yeah, such a sick hat, dude. Rotation five, one golf hat. It is twins though. So this isn't a terrible pull. It's the Mitchell and Ness Charlotte Honets. One of the most athletic insects in all of the animal kingdom. I'll toss it in cart, why not? It'll probably be like 50 cents. Fight! All right, Roto six didn't have ish. Round seven. Yeah, not bad, but not amazing. A little Carhartticus pocket tee, not terrible. Three more items, rotation seven. seven. Carhartt, I think this might be the only piece I grab. The Nike I'm thinking about, but it's a V-neck. And then you got the women's soccer team, but this is like a youth small trip. Damn. Ooh. This is rotation eight. Fight. My boy Mr. Fast Attack, Houston Fire Department. So that's rotation eight, and I've officially been here four hours. Houston Fire Department, 93 graphic, I like it. The Muscle Beach tank is objectively hard. And then for the children, I got the Hulk T. This is a crazy graphic. So I'm gonna get all of these. And uh, let's count up how many pieces I've gotten in half a day at the bins. It hasn't been great, I'm gonna be real. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 pieces for sure in four hours. Not the best, but hey, we're doing it for the content. Fight! So after halftime, rotation nine, fat goose egg, nada. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, rotation 10 did not hit, I'm fading. I'm fading, one thing, I'm fading. I'm on the verge of checking out, guys. But I'm hanging in here for y'all. God damn. So Roto's 10 and 11 did not come through, but I did just find the Minnie Mouse Vintage Sleep Tea. Now, does it got some stains? Yes, am I gonna try and get that off? Yes. Is it vintage? Yes. Is it cool? Yes. Am I grabbing it? Yes. Okay, that's one other thing. All right, so it's been slow in here. I've been doing some uh, artwork. Got my uncle, got Jesus, and then we got Julio. And of course, Roman, <laughs> you dig? So I was gonna stay in here eight hours. I think I might do a big seven hours. This is the last find. Pearl Snap Cowboys and the Texas flag all in one. Kind of nice. Then one other item I got blessed with before I go. It's from Roman Prince Thrifts. Toss me this amazing denim leather jacket. And that's what it's called. Denim leather. Perfect. Perfect. I'm not even going to lie. This cart looks insane with Santa and this uh, rice cooker that I'm going to use as a hat rasterizer. But also, they haven't been getting truckloads of clothes, which stinks. It stinks. What's the damage looking like? Be honest. Honest, let's see what the machine says. Moment of truth. Well, 61.45. God! Wait, wait, can this be separated? It was 47 pounds, like how? Because that piece, this is heavy. Can that be priced individually? I don't know if that would help me. I don't me. think they will. But they need to, that thing's over, heavy. If it's over five pounds, yes, but if it's not, no. That's easily over five pounds. It's six I'll take it for a dollar. What was it, 56, 40? 56, 45. All right, 56, 45. 45. So we're out of the Goodwill. Let me be honest with you guys. 
for a second. That's all I can do. I spent seven hours in there. Probably got around 20 items for $56. I'm hoping I can make 50 bucks. So just hourly pay, like $7 an hour. I don't know, we're gonna see, I'm gonna do a live, I'm gonna do my best, but obviously you guys are the people. Whatnot is the people's court of price evaluations. Now I did fill up my whole car with the ton of items I cashed out with. So I think I'm gonna run a live right now to see how much I make off these items, how much I spend and how much I make off all the items that I cashed out on in the parking lot. Holy mackerel, y'all. I'm back right now. As y'all can see, I got all the items lined up and ready to go for the whatnot live. I'm gonna measure everything, make sure you guys get the correct sizing, and I'm just gonna go live, roll the dice, and pray, hope for the best, and cross my fingers all at the same damn time because Lord knows I'm gonna need it. 22 items. And uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna make about 50 bucks. Hopefully? You guys come through and prove me wrong on the live streams, but this isn't a typical representation of what I have. So I just assume the wallet is going to match the quality of the garments, but I got some cool things, but nothing that really stands out. So there's only one way to find out and that's to go live and see how we do daddy. So ladies and gentlemen, today is the day, tonight is the night. I spent an entire seven hours in the Goodwill bins and I'm gonna sell everything I found during that day. Shout out the Thrift God. We got the whole gang with me on whatnot right now. Y'all know what it is? Y'all know what it is? Tell me why, man, when I was editing this video, the power went out in the building I am currently in and I damn near almost lost all the footage in the entire video, but I spent three hours three hours recovering the data to make this happen. So I do appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys for being in here. Say something wild. Say something wild. Shout out my D-pop. Boy, you act like someone's gonna read a screen recorded freaking vertical phone image and zoom in and see your D-pop. But I hope they do, man. I hope it gets you all the sales, okay? 19 bucks for the band tee. Shout out to homie Rob. He tossed me this, I appreciate it. All right. So that was a quick little 30 minute session on the whatnot. I made $187. Bro, Kinky was right. He said a cool 180. So I spent 56. So I made 187 minus 56. That's, I made 131 bucks. $131 uh, divided by seven. $18.71 an hour. It's not terrible, but it's not great, okay? And I pay my homie more than that. <laughs> so yeah, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, man, for the sake of the argument, it was fun, it was a cool test to do. And that's the bins on his worst day, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and ship everything and get it out. And I appreciate everyone for tuning in. The lowest piece was a buck. And I think the highest one, what was it, 30 or like, 17, 20? I don't even know. But once again, if you do not have a WhatNot account, tap that link in bio. That will save you $15 off your first purchase. And I appreciate everyone that did tune in. Again, the day this video is dropping, I am going live on WhatNot at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm gonna be slinging some heat, some wrestling tees, some vintage jackets, some Carhartt, and some craziness that I have acquired by cashing people out, some other items that I have found. And ultimately, I'm just trying to keep you guys blessed and dressed in the best you dig so all the links are in the video description smash the like button on the way out subscribe if you aren't already and until next time live the dream eat that ice cream i will catch y'all soon this was fun to do depressing at times but i'm glad i finally knocked this challenge out because it's been something i've been contemplating and thinking about doing for a while peace killing these songs leaving a bloody life i rooster and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to